Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. This video shows you how to remove Edge from Windows. Now, if you still need internet access on the computer you want to remove Microsoft Edge from, then you need to ensure that you've got another browser installed, something like Opera, Chrome, Brave Browser, or Firefox, or another browser of your choice. But just make sure you install that before you remove Edge. As you can see here, I've got Chrome as an alternative browser. Now, if you're never ever gonna need the internet on this PC, then yep, you can just remove Edge edge from here that's fine so what you need to do is you need to click on the little yellow folder down there if you don't have a yellow folder down there click on the start button and click on the little folder just there once you've got an explorer window open then what you need to do is you need to click on this pc and then find the c drive so just once you've found the c drive it might be identified as local disk c or it could be your computer's manufacturer and then c after it double click on that then double click on program files x86, then double click on Microsoft, then double click on Edge, then double click on application. And then here there should be a set of numbers. So as you can see, mine is 92.0902.62. Now this will change over time. So yours will probably be something completely different from this. So double click on whatever set of numbers you've got there and then double click on installer. Then what you need to do is, I'm just gonna open out this window, you need to copy this up here. So the best way to do that is just move your mouse just to the right of the word installer, left click once, and make sure this is all highlighted in blue, then click the right mouse button, move your mouse down to copy, and click either the left or right mouse button over copy, and then click on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen. Next thing we want to do is we want to click on the start button and then we want to type CMD. That's C for Charlie, M for mother, D for Delta. Then when command prompt comes up, we want to move our mouse over it, click on the right mouse button and then click on run as administrator with the left mouse button. It will then come up and say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Windows Command Processor and the verified publisher is Microsoft Windows, move your mouse over yes, left click once. Then you'll get this black box appear on the screen. Okay, so you need to type CD, that's C for Charlie, D for Delta, and then space. And then move your mouse just anywhere over the black here and click the right mouse button once. Okay, so you should have there C program files, x86, Microsoft Edge application, then set numbers, then installer. Now what we need to do is we need to put a pair of speech marks either side of this that's come up. So just press and hold the shift button and then press the number two on your keyboard or whatever the speech marks uh, is on there. Now keep pressing the left arrow on your keyboard until the little white cursor goes over or under, should I say, the C just there. Once it's under the C, again, put some speech marks in there. Then press enter or return on your keyboard, and there we go. So the next thing we need to do is we need to run this command. Now I'm gonna put this command in the description of the video, and the command is setup space hyphen hyphen uninstall base hyphen hyphen false hyphen uninstall space hyphen hyphen system hyphen level. So I'm just gonna open that out a bit so it's easier for you to see, so there you go. So it's set up space hyphen hyphen uninstall space hyphen hyphen false hyphen uninstall space hyphen hyphen system hyphen level. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. And you'll notice straight away, Edge has disappeared off of the system. No reboot required, nothing at all. So uh, that's now gone. But Microsoft might try and reinstall it. So how do we stop that from reinstalling? So all we do is let's just type now in this black window here, Reg Edit. That's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Then press Enter or Return on your keyboard. And then you should get this sort of window come up here. I'm just gonna to scroll to the top here, just gonna press the home key so we're back 
to computer there. And then what we want to do is we want to find a few little items here. Now I'm just gonna close these up so we're back to, all these are closed up, so we're all starting from the same point. So we wanna find H key local machine and double click that. Then we wanna find software, double click that. And then we wanna find Microsoft and double click that. And then we right click on the Microsoft folder and select new and then select key. And we wanna name the key Edge Update. And Edge has got a capital E and the U in Update has got a capital U. So there we go, just as it's shown on the screen. Edge update, no space between edge and update. And like I say, make sure that it's got a capital E and a capital U. The rest of the characters are all lowercase. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. Then right click on edge update and then select new and then select D word 32 bit value. Click on that and then we wanna type in new value here. We wanna type do with a capital D not with a capital N, update with a capital U, two with a capital T, edge with a capital E, width with a capital W, chromium with a capital C. Again, I will put this in the description of the video, so it's just as it's shown here. Now, I should warn you that if you do get this wrong, you could screw up, screw up your whole system. So please make sure that you get this 100% right before you uh, press enter or return. Okay, so once you're 110% sure that this is all okay, press enter or return, and then double left click on what you just created there, the do not update to Edge with Chromium, and you should see a zero in the value data change that to one and then just click on OK there. And there you go. So that should now stop any updates from reinstalling Microsoft Edge. The next thing we need to do is just close down these windows. So I'm just gonna click on the cross just up there and then I'm gonna click on the cross just there. So there you go. That guide showed you how to completely remove Microsoft Edge from your Windows system. Hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.